Hello and welcome to the debriefing for DeathWench Professional Services Online Research Management Simulation Module. In this video, we'll revisit each scenario and talk about how we can apply research management skills. We will engage in cognitive rehearsal and imagine what we would do if we were in the same situations as the characters in the scenarios. Finally, this video will wrap up with instructions on how to complete the module. Let's remember the module learning objectives. Since we are now at the end of the module, ask yourself, can you now do the following? Can you describe a situation where a personal opinion about a person or type of work might get in the way of problem solving on a research team and offer a solution? Describe a situation in which the way a business process runs can cause interpersonal problems on a research team and offer a solution. Identify three ways team members can provide each other support when serving on a research team. List three traits of a good research team leader and explain how these traits help the research team leader be effective. And name one strategy to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of research meetings. Now, let's revisit the three scenarios in the module. In the first scenario, there was a potential problem at LabRite. Although the other two labs were testing specimen without any problem, the reports from LabRite were coming back with a message that there was not enough specimen to test. So, what could the group do about the problem? One way to start the conversation is by asking, how can we gather relevant facts? On the slide, you will see some questions that could be asked and answered by gathering evidence. The questions have to do with areas where troubleshooting could occur to help get to the root cause of the problem. Maybe if you are big labby, you are wondering if the specimen was even delivered to lab right properly. You might go meet the specimen at the door when they arrive to verify this. Or let's say you were Junior, who is in charge of recruitment in the study and also works in the lab. Junior could watch the specimen being split and ensure protocols were being followed. Here are just two examples of how research team members could participate in gathering facts to figure out what is going wrong in the study. Let's move on to the next scenario. In the second scenario, Dr. Virus's lab has only processed 15% of their specimen, so they are dragging the study behind. The research protocol says the specimen have to be processed in Dr. Virus's lab, so how can the group help to solve the problem? Again, a good way to start is to think of facts that could be known that could help the group come to a strategic plan. Stepping back, the problem here is that Dr. Virus lacks resources. There is too much work for one lab. The research team could try to add resources to solve the problem, but some work needs to be done to figure out how to do that in such a way that it actually addresses the issue. Let's say you are Dr. Pappy. Your lab is very busy with Junior working all day every weekday, but maybe you could loan Junior to Dr. Virus's lab. After all, he's already trained. He's worked there before. But then you'd have to vary Junior's hours. Dr. Virus said that during the day, her lab needs to process patient specimen, so Junior would have to go in after hours. Everyone can pitch in. Dr. Stats said she doesn't know how to work in the lab. But if Junior is in charge of recruitment, and now he is helping out Dr. Virus, Dr. Stats could offer to take over Junior's recruitment duties. If the group thinks creatively together, they can figure out how to strategically add resources to the study to overcome the issue with Dr. Virus's lab. And speaking of recruitment, let's move on to scenario three. In the final scenario, Junior is going to the primary care clinic to recruit patients for the study, but he's behind target so the study is delayed. What can the research team do to help? Before we actually answer that question, 
let's make sure we think about the facts we need. It's not clear where the problem actually is. Is Junior doing something wrong? Or is something structural wrong? Like there are not enough patients who qualify. Dr. Statz is developing her career and moving more into data collection. If she were to accompany Junior the next time he goes to do recruitment, she could troubleshoot the answer to this question, whether it's Junior or something else entirely. And there is the question of whether Junior should be doing all the recruitment anyway. Junior is younger, and most of the patients who would qualify would be older, like Dr. Virus. Remember, it is sometimes necessary to have different people switch duties or to decide to share duties in the middle of a research study. That's because of those unforeseen circumstances I mentioned in the introduction. Also, consider whether you need to add to the research team. Do you have too much work and not enough people to do it? Or do you realize you need expertise not covered by the existing members? Consider adding members strategically to the research team if you run into these types of problems. Okay, now we are done with the debriefing and we'll move on to talking about how to complete the module. Because you are watching this video, I know you must have found your way to the module completion page. You will need to finish watching this video, but let's go over and look at the module completion page. After you have finished all the scenarios and essay questions, you will arrive here at the module completion page. That's where you can watch this video for debriefing. You can also download the slides from the video and the script. This is also the page where you can request a certificate of completion and feedback. If you want a certificate of completion or feedback, this is where you request it. First, you have to start by paying by PayPal. If you want either of those under payment, first click on the PayPal button where you will be brought to PayPal where you can pay. But after you pay, you still have to input your information for the certificate and your essay answers so you can get feedback. The link for that is above the payment buttons. After you pay, don't forget to click here to input your information. This will bring you to a survey where you can enter your name for the certificate and your essay answers for the rubric. You will also be given a chance to fill out a post-module survey. If you request a certificate or feedback, please allow 72 hours for a response. Even if you do not make a purchase, please fill out our post-module survey. If you do not want to request any items, but you do want to fill out the survey, simply click on the link to the survey and answer no to the questions about requesting the certificate and feedback. This will bring you to the survey. Thank you again for participating in DeathWench Professional Services Research Management Simulation Module. We hope you learned a lot and that your future research endeavors are successful.